That Serena is having the best season of her career at this age boggles the imagination. Here's Mike Tirico and Pam Shriver from the U.S. Open. Well, Pam Shriver, these times in sports, it's get to the highest mountain and be the loudest and full of hyperbole. But really what Serena Williams is four sets, two matches away from, is worthy of that mountaintop. Talk about, from your perspective, how you watch Serena in the last few years as she hits her middle 30s elevate to perhaps the best level of tennis she's ever played. Well, that's really why she's become my greatest player of all time. It's what she's done after she's turned age 30. Prior to this, the most anyone's ever won past 30 is three majors. She's already on number eight and looking to go a lot further. And I think her coach, Patrick Morantoglu, has been a whole really important reason because he has brought tactics, strategy, and a more thoughtful approach to Serena's game. I think the mental part of this has been so intriguing to watch. Both the coach, Patrick Moradoglu, and Serena Williams have spoken of, well, if she doesn't win this slam, she still has a chance to catch Steffi Groff in 22 Grand Slam titles for her career. And that's kind of deflecting what the moment is. The moment is the calendar slam, but it helps give you a different mental target. And that's part of the story here, the mental targets that Serena is dealing with and seems to be getting more comfortable dealing with here at this U.S. Open. Well, it's a big job of the coach to deflect any amount of pressure possible and Patrick's doing a good job but still this is Serena's only chance I believe to win the calendar year Grand Slam remember a year ago coming into the US Open she didn't win any of the majors the first three majors she didn't play close to her best tennis and she struggled losing all these sets this year but she's been great especially in the final sets and as someone who's been around women's tennis for days as the sport has gone to an increase, days when the sport has returned to equal or gotten to equal footing with prize money, I would imagine it has to be so much pride to see the attention that this is getting, not just in the tennis community, but in the sports community now. Well, and also the fact that the women's game in general, this Open, has really showed up all throughout the draw. All four women's quarterfinal were compelling three-setters. Everyone is digging in. They're trying to prevent Serena from the calendar year Grand Slam. Uh, but still, we're talking about the best player, the best athlete, the one who embraces the biggest moments the best. Serena's two to go, and to me, no one can stop her. And fault on me. I limited it to the sports community. You look around Arthur Ashe Stadium when Serena plays. There's Oprah, there's Donald Trump, there's everyone. This has really grabbed America's attention. Two wins from a huge piece of the history of the sport. And as great as Serena has been this season, Steffi Groff's run in 1988 was even more dominant. You check this out. Entering the U.S. Open semifinals, Groff had dropped a total of one set in her 25 Grand Slam matches that season. Serena, now at the same spot, U.S. Open semifinals has already lost 11 sets in Grand Slam matches. They call him La Potencia, the power. Joanna Cespedes doing it again for the Mets. Is this team now a...